Hey, welcome to the channel. I'm Sean with Airmore Coast Digitizing. I digitize home movies here in Pensacola, Florida. All types of camcorder tapes and films are all done in-house and I show you the behind the scenes of the business. If you need someone to do this for you, check out my website, emeraldcoastdigitizing.com. Let's get on with the video. It's mail day. I'm doing some film over here on the Kodak Reels machines. Don't have any tapes going today. Um, I've got some, uh, some customers showing up to pick up their orders. I'm just gonna take it easy today. Drink coffee and open some mail and then probably get out here a little early. But over a thousand subscribers now, it's moving fast, it's pretty cool. Uh, really appreciate it. Super stoked to have you guys be a part of this channel and to kind of build a community around this channel. It's great. I know I'm not doing like ama anything amazing here, but it, uh, it is fun to share kind of my day to day in the store. So let's get to it. I didn't want to bring the big box with me to work, so I just have that. I don't know what's in there yet. Uh, a couple other things here. This came in a package. I went ahead and opened it. This is pretty neat. Um, I was watching uh, 12 volt videos, 12 volt vids on YouTube. And he does a lot of VCR repair and stuff like that. And uh, he was using this stuff here to clean the mode switches and some of the contacts on the VCRs. So I went ahead and picked up a bottle of this. It looks like this will last me for probably forever. And it's reusable and it's not a spray. It has a little syringe. But uh, deox it. It's good for cleaning mode switches on VCRs. Maybe in the next few videos, um, I'll take some time to pull out some of these VCRs and fix some problems on them or try to fix some problems, um, you know. And if I can't fix them, maybe there's somebody on this channel here that wants that stuff and uh, I'll send it over, give it to you if I can't fix it. So let's uh, stay tuned for those videos. But yep, deox it, recommended by one of the, uh, the gatekeepers or the well-known uh, video retro video repair guys on youtube 12 volt vids check out his videos i love watching them great stuff to put in the, on in the background but yeah deoxid stuff looks cool first package here came with a note it says thank you so much for your purchase this brought back so many memories enjoy becky all right oh i'll put a scratch in the box okay this looks familiar i'm sure looks like a pretty much brand new rewinder more new old stock guys well this one's been open but it's still cool to get it in the box Ooh, an instruction manual warranty all right so this is definitely not new unless there's plastic still on this which looks just looks really scratched up and used but yeah that'd be cool if it was new super dusty in here so we know it's been used but we'll plug it in and we'll test it out real quick can never have enough of these especially for what i do you can see over here i've got quite a few of them we'll plug this in got a little couple power strips down here we're going to test it out with this orange tape this rugrats a rugrats vacation put that in rewind it's working great fast forward looking good nice quiet counters working i never really knew what these were for but but yeah she sounds good she's working good it's a good buy guys good buy and we know it works so we'll put a green sticker on it and i'm sure we'll need it eventually I'm going to end up hoarding old boxes that I don't need because I think they're too cool to throw out. So what's the next one is? Alright, let's see what's in this box here. Oh, I just had a customer pull up. At least I think it's a customer. Oh yeah, definitely for me. I really wish I would have kind of filmed that more, but that customer was super nice. A lot of customers come in and once they actually get the service, search for the service and find us on the internet, then all of a sudden they're targeted by the big companies who are paying tons of money for ads. So as soon as someone searches for a local business to do this, maybe they find one and they go to it and it's fine. But then while they're waiting, they're getting, you know, 
bombarded with these ads now that they've searched for it. I don't know if that makes sense, but I had a customer the other day come in and I did great work for him. I did, I mean, every tape was full, two hour long digital eight tapes. Um, I had to do some repairs. I had to hand unwind a few of them and I didn't charge him any extra for it. I gave him a quote, I stuck to the quote and I even gave him like 95, almost a hundred dollar discount at the end. And then that customer came back in like a week later to pick up their stuff and they were like, hey, you know, we were looking around online and we saw a bunch of different places were lower prices than you and your prices, you know, we, we were kind of under the impression that we were gonna get like a lower price than that. And I was like, uh, well, I already, this is what I did. Look at all your tapes. They're all perfectly organized and beautiful. Um, I understand, like, you know, if you thought one thing and you know, you, I, I didn't want to upset them. I wanted them to have a good experience. So I'm will, I was willing to, to give them that discount they were looking for, but the way they came about it was like, hey, we know you gave us a quote, but we were hoping it would be lower than that. It's like, it was lower. It just wasn't $300 lower. It was $100 lower. So um, some customers will give you trouble, but a lot of customers make up for it. Like this customer here um, paid his invoice, gave me a tip to go buy lunch with. And you know, that makes up for all the people out there that are like, unappreciative and don't necessarily um, you know understand why you pay for a local business to do this versus a big company like I mean yeah Walmart has the cheapest prices but is it the best experience and do they provide the you know the best products no they don't so anyways back to the uh, might be the new angle for the channel guys what do you think about this you don't see anything I'm doing you just look at the bottom of my face the noise you're hearing in the background is my neighbor. He's moving in next door. They're going to put in a computer shop and an IT store. So hopefully it'll get me some more business. Who knows? But uh, all right, guys, here we go. What's this? Oh, yeah, I'm always looking for these. JVC. VHFC adapter. It's a little beat up, but we'll try this thing out real quick to make sure it works. Although they always do. Mm-hmm. Tape's a little beat up, but the adapter works great. So that's another win. Let's see what this is. One last package. I don't think these are gonna be very excited. This is probably just a uh an Elgato or something. I don't remember. But I'm always buying stuff on eBay. Yep, another video capture. I haven't had I've got, you know. 15 of these, I've never had one fail. And I use them constantly. So, got another one of those. I guess not as exciting of an unboxing as maybe I thought it was gonna be. And I'm gonna have to end this video because this, uh, this hammering is just awful. All right guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, more to come. If this channel has been inspired to you, if you learned anything, please, Please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. It really helps the channel grow. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.